Exodus Chapter 8 Afterward the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and tell him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou wilt not let them go, behold, I will smite all thy country with frogs, and the river shall crawl full of frogs, which shall go up and come into thine house, and into thy chamber, where thou sleepest, and upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thy ovens, and into thy kneading troughs. Yea, the frogs shall climb up upon thee, and on thy people, and upon all thy servants. Also the Lord said to Moses, Say thou unto Aaron, Stretch out thine hand with thy rod upon the streams, upon the rivers, and upon the ponds, and cause frogs to come up upon the land of Egypt. Then Aaron stretched out his hand upon the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up, and covered the land of Egypt. And the sorcerers did likewise with their sorceries, and brought frogs up upon the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron, and said, Pray ye unto the Lord, that he may take away the frogs from me, and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Concerning me, even command when I shall pray for thee, and for thy servants, and for thy people, to destroy the frogs from thee and from thine houses, that they may remain in the river only. Then he said, Tomorrow. And he answered, Be it as thou hast said, that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God. So the frogs shall depart from thee, and from thine houses, and from thy servants, and from thy people. Only they shall remain in the river. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried unto the Lord concerning the frogs, which he had sent unto Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the saying of Moses. So the frogs died in the houses, in the towns and the fields. And they gathered them together by heaps, and the land stank of them. But when Pharaoh saw that he had rest given him, he hardened his heart, and hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. Again the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod, and smite the dust of the earth, that it may be turned to lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so. For Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and smote the dust of the earth. And lice came upon man, and upon beast. All the dust of the earth was lice throughout all the land of Egypt. Now the enchanters essayed likewise with their enchantments to bring forth lice, but they could not. So the lice were upon man and upon beast. Then said the enchanters unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart remained obstinate, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. Moreover the Lord said to Moses, Rise up, early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, he will come forth unto the water, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else if thou wilt not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies both upon thee and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thine houses, and the houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and the ground also whereon they are. But the land of Goshen, where my people are, will I cause to be wonderful in that day, so that no swarms of flies shall be there, that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth, and I will make a deliverance of my people from thy people. Tomorrow shall this miracle be. And the Lord did so, for there came great swarms of flies into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses, so that through all the land of Egypt... The earth was corrupt by the swarms of flies. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron, and said, Go, 
do sacrifice unto your God in this land. And Moses answered, It is not meet to do so, for then we should offer unto the Lord our God that which is an abomination unto the Egyptians. Lo, can we sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians before their eyes, and they not stone us? Let us go three days' journey in the desert, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, as he hath commanded us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that ye may sacrifice unto the Lord your God in the wilderness. But go not far away, pray for me. And Moses said, Behold, I will go out from thee, and pray unto the Lord, that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people, to morrow. But let Pharaoh from henceforth deceive no more, in not suffering the people to sacrifice unto the Lord. So Moses went out from Pharaoh and prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord did according to the saying of Moses, and the swarms of flies departed from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, and there remained not one. Yet Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also, and did not let the people go.